Johnny Mosley here for Peter Glenn Ski and Sports. I'm here with George Cooperthwaite. We're in the Stokely booth. And um, I love this brand, I love this ski because they kind of own this category. And the category is performance skis that, that trench, they carve, they have a, a racing heritage. Uh, but they've also come out a little bit and made a bunch of skis that do amazing things off piece, uh, pow, crud, everything else. So George, tell us like, well, the most special thing about Stokely is it takes about 10 days to make a pair of these. Really? So we do, it's a really long process that we go through. And quality and craftsmanship is really what the brand is all about. And, and that's what people who make stuff in Switzerland are all about too. So the level to detail and the attention to detail that we do, do in different things like the tuning, the way it comes from the factory. Yeah. We have different tunes for different models, different angles on the bevels, and you know, different grinds, things like that. So we really try and cater uniquely to each customer that we have and based on their skier profile yeah. and which key is right for them. So the skis that we have here, these are the Storm Riders. Um, okay. You tried a couple of those on yeah, the snow. Yeah. And I did notice that actually. Yeah. I remember thinking, man, this thing is tuned like yeah. perfectly yeah. right that's out of the right box. right out of the box. Yeah, yeah that's it's huge. really good. So we make um, really a couple different widths. The 88 and the 85 motion are probably a little bit more for the person who's 60 for 70% groomers. And yeah. the rest getting off into some powder and crud. Okay. All the skis are metal laminate construction, so they have two sheets of tetanol, yeah. which really makes the ski really stable and really comfortable yeah. and provides a lot of security to people too. They feel really at ease and balanced on the skis. So. Yeah, they go through, uh, like, you can go through some soft snow and hit like a yep. ice sheet and they just yep. seamlessly. And that's go. the other thing that's good about that type of construction is that. Um, even when you get on wider skis, you don't really sacrifice a lot of edge grip. Right. So that's important. I, I have a question for you. I was wondering because obviously it has this beautiful yep. top sheet, but that's not metal, right? That, that is actually that's the, that's that's the, the functional the top sheet of that seat metal that's on the ski. Okay, so, that's one of the layers. Um, yep, and we do a special cross grind on it to, to make it look nice, and that's where we apply the graphic to as well. Yeah, they're beautiful. So, so as you go up, they get a little bit wider, and we also do some things with tip splay with yeah. a little bit of rocker in the tip. All the skis have a traditional camber. So they're going to work really well on hard snow and on soft snow. But you just tend a to have bit of like a little play. less tip rocker yeah. than most than most people. Skis, more right. traditional with the regular, that's just to keep it little bit of camber under the foot. Yeah, because it. I mean, I always look at some of the skis that are out there, and I, I always say it's yeah. like taking rollerblades to an ice skating rink. Sure, you know, yeah. if you're only using two thirds of the ski, it's not really working for you. So these skis are more traditional until you get to the tip, and then you have extra, a little extra to keep it from um, getting pushed around. And what stuff. about the tip shape? Tip shape is provided just so, so you reduce deflection. Yeah. So when you get in in the uh, crud and chunder and stuff like that, you can a lot of skis you can see they rattle and they shake a lot. Right, right. So this is a lower profile tip and it's profiled so that it won't um, it won't get banged around when you're tipping it on it. I did notice that when I was skiing it as well. Like uh, tip deflection is when you're you know carving and then you, you hit a chunk or some like ridge in the snow and the tip will try to. And if it like does that. do that, sometimes yeah. too, you lose the whole edge, yeah, and then the turn is gone. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then I did, I did notice you guys do have a little bit of a, you a little play. <laughs> a little bit. You get a little right. too freestyle. You get a little switch if you I want mean, to, but yeah. yeah. So you can go backwards. Whether you're doing it on purpose or by accident, <laughs> you can do it both ways. All right. And then uh, here we go. And then the 105. This is pretty much our widest key. Yeah. Um, this is you know what I would call a really hard charger, but right. again, not um, you know not not losing a lot when you've gone harder snow or groomers even it's still yeah. going to ski like a good almost classic race gs ski yeah but still the other part about stokely is for a long time we had a reputation of only being for the best gears right and we've really worked hard on opening up the envelope to yeah. the number and the different skier types that can go out and ski and have a good time on sure it. yeah i noticed i took this out and like did a photo shoot on groomers yeah and i texted yeah. you i mean it yeah. was like i could yeah. Even a freestyler like yeah. me, I was like had that thing. Yeah. Just, I was trying to make it slide out as much yeah. as I could, and it just was trenching. Yeah, and even for me, like living in Vermont, yeah. you know, this is my one pair of skis. If I have right. to have one pair, go anywhere, do anything. Yeah, that's most comfortable. Yeah, and I, I think you you do have a reputation as being for really good skiers. Yeah, I mean, we don't you, lack. That's why you don't need as much rocker in the tip because your ski, the guys you ski that ski, but actually, I always say you, know you don't handle it. You don't have to be a race car driver to drive a Porsche though either. Not at the <laughs> time, right? So. Okay. That's true. Yeah. Until you're grinding the gears. And stuff, yeah. Right? yeah. That's why they make automatics. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's uh right. well, let's wrap up this side. This is the Stokely Storm Storm Rider series. Uh 105, 95, 
and 88. And then the 85 motion oh, for the ladies. Oh, and the 85 for the ladies. Ladies specific, yeah. Okay, cool. George Cooper's weight. I'm Johnny Mosley. If you want to see this review or any of my reviews, go to peterglenn.com. Until the next run. Thank you.